Number 14 in the Vinegar Syndrome Archive range is Alley Cat. Now, just turn it over so you can see that other awesome cover it's on there. And this was kind of sold to me like a female led death wish. And whereas it never quite builds up to that level of excitement or uh, violence, it's still incredibly fun. And I find that the most of the fun in this movie comes from the performance of Karen Manny, the lean, lead actress who I think just owns uh, the screen as Billy. She is a karate trained ass kicker and she is taking no crap from anybody. Of course there's gangs running wild as there were a lot in these kind of movies. People who seem to have no accountability in the law whatsoever. And similar to a uh, vigilante, we have a hero who ends up in jail for trying to do the right thing where the criminals tend to go off scot-free. And I kind of like this because unlike vigilante, you turn into a women's prison exploitation movie for 15 minutes out of nowhere. <laughs> it's bloody awesome. It's just uh, completely uh, just there for nudity, uh, for sexual tension, and for a little bit of action as well. Now, I like the fight scenes within this one as well, when there was a great deal of charm and charisma in amongst a couple of the lead actors. I think the connection between Billy and Johnny, which is a police officer, is really kind of fun. I loved the interplay that they had, particularly when Johnny wants to show off his karate moves, just not quite realising how trained Billy is and gets his ass handed to him. It's a fun sequence and it kind of builds up that romance very quickly. I, I found a lot of this movie was really well done. Really well done in getting to the heart of the story and getting the energy and getting fun and exciting scenes to play forward. Now, one of the things I loved was the outfits that Billy wears. They are ridiculously over the top and just complete uh, fashion disasters, but so interesting to watch. There's a moment later on in the movie which I just loved where she gets dressed up in this kind of sequence dress jumpsuit thing to go out and I'm like, oh, I wonder what's happening here. But she's literally just getting dressed up to go to a bar to start leathering people, kicking their ass in one of the most amazing fight scenes the movie has. It's so energetic, it's so fun and she's such a demure, small woman and just seeing her like manhandle these guys was just so smile inducing. It's incredibly fun. The bad guys are equally as tropey as you would expect, over the top and typical gang members of the time, the way they would be envisaged. But that's not a bad thing because I hated these guys. They were so over the top, so destructive uh, and just waiting for that uh, retribution that's coming their way. Um, the Scarface, the city leader of it, was just such a city, nihilistic and destructive character who felt he had complete autonomy over everyone. Um, and there's a sequence where he breaks in to scare a witness that was um, really menacing and, and kind of horrifying at the same time. But like I said, the movie rests on Karen Manny's shoulders and it does so with aplomb. I thought she was magnificent in the lead role and I thought she did some amazing fight sequences that are, sure, they're not perfect, but they're incredibly fun, energetic, and you know what? They go for it. It's interesting stuff, especially at the end where she's bloody, beaten, eh, bruised, but victorious at the end of this one, having just decimated everyone. I had so much fun with Alley Cat, uh, from its crazy one-liners to the ridiculous fashion sense to that 15-minute prison movie uh, exploitation section that was just the cherry on top of this absolutely terrific movie. Alley Cat was a great surprise, one of my favourite VSAs so far, highly recommended. Love to know your thoughts, let me know in the comment box below. We'll see you next time. Man V Film.